How's it going guys, I'm Theo Joe, and if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know I'm a big fan of OLED for all the obvious reasons. It's pretty much the best type of display technology you can get right now, but that might not be for long because there's a new kit on the block called Micro LED that Samsung displayed a prototype with at CES earlier this year, the Consumer Electronics Show. And they called this the wall, and it was basically a 146 inch giant TV that used this micro LED technology that could be better than OLED in every single way. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So what are the differences between OLED and this micro LED, also called MLED? And there are actually quite a few differences, mostly stemming from the fact that unlike OLED, which uses organic LED technology, organic materials, micro LED does not. It uses an inorganic material, specifically gallium nitride, if you want to know the science behind it, which has a lot of advantages over this organic material that OLED uses at the moment. Now before we get into those differences, the first thing you need to know is that micro LED for the most part is very similar to OLED except for that organic material. So it still has individual LED subpixels for red, green, and blue that produces its own light. It doesn't require a backlight like LED LCD uses. So that does give you all the advantages of OLED that where it's 100% black levels, it goes all the way down to zero. When the screen wants to display black, it just turns off the LED. And it also can get a lot more accurate colors because it can control those subpixels more accurately at the individual level. You get all those same advantages, but that inorganic material comes in and gives additional advantages over OLED. For example, unlike an organic material that degrades, this inorganic material supposedly does not, meaning that where OLED will degrade over time at different rates for each subpixel, meaning there will be a color shift, micro LED supposedly will not do that. So you're not gonna get pixel degradation, it's gonna be consistent color over time. You also apparently have the advantage of not having to worry about burning and ghosting. So you might know that with OLED, it's not really a big deal. It's not like plasma where there's permanent burn-in, as far as I know, but sometimes if you do have the same image on an OLED screen for a while, when you change it, it will retain that image for a little while, or at least until you turn it off for a certain amount of time, whereas apparently that is not an issue at all for micro LED. Micro LED is also supposedly a lot brighter than OLED. In this example with the wall, it's apparently 2000 nits, although from what I was reading, it could be as much as 30 times brighter than OLED, so that is an obvious huge advantage and also it apparently uses a lot less energy than LCD at least and potentially less than OLED. So really it seems like you're getting all the advantages of OLED and taking away the disadvantages. The main disadvantage of course there is one for micro LED which is that it is extremely expensive to manufacture right now. It's very hard to mass produce although Samsung is saying that their wall micro LED will be apparently on sale this year, maybe in March. They have not given a price, but they're saying it's basically consistent with new technologies as they emerge, which basically means it's going to be extremely expensive, and I would not be surprised if it was around like $50,000, which is about the price of what 4K TVs were when they were prototypes. And one further advantage of micro LED is Samsung says you can put it in a lot more configurations and shapes and sizes than OLED, where it's a little bit restrictive, you basically have to put it in squares, where micro LED, you're not really restricted to that at all. Though while that is the case, as I mentioned, it is very expensive when you wanna produce it in a lot more expensive screens, like with Samsung's The Wall, which is 146 inch, I can't even imagine how much that did cost. Now you might think that micro LED is brand new. It's actually not brand new. It was actually created and invented back in the year 2000 by some professors at Texas Tech University and Kansas State University. And actually Sony has been using this technology for a little while in prototypes. You might remember back in 2012, they created this new display technology they were calling Crystal LED, which was basically micro LED. And believe it or not, Apple actually did buy a micro LED manufacturing company not too long ago, and it's suspected that they're gonna be using this company to make screens for their Apple Watches, which are a lot smaller, obviously, so it's a lot more economical to make these smaller micro LED 
screens that are way better, and that would make a lot of sense. Though I am interested to know how Samsung plans to potentially mass manufacture these micro LED displays in larger formats, from what I've been researching, there are three main ways to manufacture micro LED at the moment. There's chip bonding, which basically is where you put the individual micro LEDs onto the display one by one, which it is very time consuming, very expensive. And then there are also two other methods called wafer bonding and thin film transfer. And those two, I am definitely not knowledgeable enough to explain. So if you really wanna look those up, you can do it yourself. But there are three main ways. Maybe Samsung figured out a way to make one of these a lot easier, or maybe they came up with their own. In any case though, one of the reasons I'm really excited about this micro LED technology is not even necessarily for televisions. Because OLEDs, you know, they're pretty much as good as you're gonna get. Yeah, you might get less color shifting over time, but that hasn't really even been a problem for televisions. Where I'm really excited is where micro LEDs could be used in computer monitors, because all those disadvantages of OLED really are exacerbated when it comes to computers. So as you know, on a television, it typically doesn't show the same image all the time. So you don't really have to worry about burning. Whereas on a computer, you really do have to worry about burning. I mean, think of a operating system like Windows. You have that taskbar at the bottom at all times. That is gonna burn in no matter what if there is a risk of burning. Whereas with micro LED, you don't have to worry about that. It doesn't burn in, so it's much more suited for computer monitors. Also with computer monitors, they're on for a lot longer than TVs typically. So you have to worry a lot more about that color shifting and if it's a professional type computer monitor where color accuracy is essential, you're gonna be a lot more sensitive to that color shifting from the degrading pixels. So OLED right now is not really ideal for computer monitors, whereas it, it's great for television and phone screens where you don't really have to worry about that because they're not on as long. Although the OLED monitors do have advantages like refresh rate and low latency, which would be awesome for computer monitors if they didn't have those disadvantages. But obviously, micro LED takes away all the disadvantages and supposedly retains all those advantages. So we might be able to see computer monitors that are better in every way than they are now. For example, uh, Nvidia actually made a prototype display that was 1700 Hertz. I mean, can you imagine that? He used OLED to show off that high refresh rate potential that is literally impossible in anything right now. And they literally put it on a paint shaker for their demo and showed that it was completely smooth. So that would be unbelievable. Can you imagine playing games at a thousand Hertz on your computer monitor? I can't right now. Obviously, you'd have to have a computer uh, graphics card that can support that, but still. Also, like we were talking about before, there is a problem with manufacturing huge displays as micro LED, but if it was a computer monitor, those obviously are not as big. They have just as high resolutions, but it might be easier to manufacture that on a computer monitor. So I'm really hopeful that we're gonna see micro LED monitors maybe even before we see them in big TVs. So yeah, I definitely think that micro LED is actually going to be the future of TVs. I think it's gonna surpass OLED as long as they can come up with some sort of manufacturing technique that is affordable. And I actually think that Samsung kind of screwed up. I think they should have called this micro LED QLED. You might know that Samsung created this QLED technology, which was basically just a new type of LED. It was like quantum LED. And they tried to call it QLED to make people think that it was like OLED, but it's really not like OLED at all. Whereas this QLED, which would have been much more suited as this micro LED because Obviously Q, it looks like an O for OLED and it is better. I think people would be a lot more ready to understand if it was called QLED because it was like OLED but better. But I don't know, maybe Samsung will completely change their QLED line. They should have called this QLED, basically is what I'm saying. But anyway, enough chat. I think I covered everything. And the basics of it is that micro LED, I think is gonna be here to stay. I really hope they come up with a way to make it cheaper because if they can, it will be better than OLED. It'll be the new best TV technology.
So anyway, I think that's it. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comments. If you want to keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. You can just click on those. If you want to subscribe, I make new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And also be sure to enable notifications by clicking that bell next to the subscribe button or YouTube might not even show you new videos even if you do subscribe because the algorithm is garbage. Keep that in mind. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.